Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Julia here from the Montville Public Library and we are going to do some cooking today. Um, I realized in my kitchen that I had two very overly ripe uh, plantains. A plantain is a kind of banana. It's a little bit sweeter and sometimes people slice it up to make um, potato chip kind of things like fried plantains or there's a lot of ways to use them but since mine had gotten overly ripe uh, I decided to look up a recipe and I found a recipe for pancakes uh, they call it the recipe is called plantain pancakes but it's actually more like a crepe which is a very thin um, that very thin pancake that you could fill with fruit or you could fill with something and then you roll it up so we're gonna um, we have all I have all my ingredients and uh, are we gonna give this a try I was actually well, another thing that made me think of well, what, what can I do with my overripe plantains was that I've been seeing a lot of banana bread recipes, um, so I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I'm and I'm sure that you could probably do these with regular bananas, but we are using plantains. So the first thing I have to have and put into my blender, um, I have to slice these up, and I'm going to put them in my blender, and I'm going to press puree because I want to make them very like liquidy. Slice these up really fast. I washed my hands before. So I my hands. Oh, you're not escaping. Okay. All right, they're in here. I put my lid on so I don't have plantains flying around in the kitchen. This might be a little loud. Let's see how. This goes. Again. I turned it off. All right. Since that's really loud, I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna puree these plantains, two overripe plantains, and then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay. Okay. So I have pureed my two overly ripened bananas. Put that back in my blender, and these are the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna now add to it. One and a half cups of flour. I pre-measured everything out so this part could go a little bit faster. Two thirds cups, two third cup milk. You can use coconut milk. Um, I use I use lactate milk. Now we have that in there. Three fourths cup water. Um, when you're making a thin pancake, it's better to have the water room temperature. I think. I think. That's what I. I don't think that. It, 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 yeah, there, two thirds cup one. No, I'm sorry. One and a half cups flour, two thirds cup milk, three fourths cup water, um, one fourth cup sugar. You can use a sugar substitute. Five eggs. Now, this is uh, important. When you're ever adding eggs to something that's in a blender, instead of putting it straight into the blender, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the eggs open into a bowl. Why am I doing that? Well, in case I don't do a great, great job at it and I get some eggshell in, it's much easier to pull a piece of eggshell out of the bowl that I'm cracking it into um, instead of getting my hands all messy. Let's see I can do this. Let's see if I could do this quickly. Okay, we got two, three, oh, no shell so far, four. Five. Woohoo! No shell. There it is. Got my eggs. Oh, it's... <laughs> this is how you can tell that I only do one take. All right, I put my five eggs in. I'm gonna be making so many, so many uh, pancakes. <laughs> You guys might need to come over and help me eat them. All right, uh, our next ingredient is a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, I just eyeball it, but you should use a teaspoon to measure it. Okay, like vanilla. Um, and then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, I was thinking I could probably use cinnamon instead if I wanted to. I'm going to use a little bit less uh, because the nutmeg is a very strong taste. Use a little bit less, um, but I am gonna add a little cinnamon because 
I like cinnamon. Oh, so good. Okay, so those are all my ingredients. They're in my blender. There's my lid. Oh my goodness, this is so much. Oh, oh my gosh. I might be eating plantain pancakes for days. Alright, this might take a little while. I have to keep checking it, so I'll turn in in a minute. Okay guys, so I have everything blended in my blender. I want to add one thing. I forgot when I was going through the list of ingredients, I forgot about a third of a cup of butter. A third, of, a third cup melted butter. Added that into the blender with all the other ingredients that I had. Um, and now it's time to put it in our frying pan. I didn't mention before in the beginning of this video, but as always, wash your hands before you start cooking and always make sure that you're doing it with a grown-up. You cannot do this by yourself. Um, and plus, it's more fun to cook with someone else. So, I put butter in my frying pan. Um, you could use butter or oil or, um, or uh, coconut oil, but I'm using butter today. And I use my ladle. And I got about two scoops into my frying pan. I swirled my frying pan around. You can see it now. I swirled my frying pan around so that it's covering the bottom of the frying pan. Now I'm gonna slowly start to see bubbles coming up. I'm gonna try this again to show you what I am doing. Okay. So there's my frying pan. But I don't see bubbles. When you start seeing bubbles, then you'll know that it is time to uh to flip it but I don't see bubbles yet so so how you doing everybody okay did you guys go outside today it's nice it's not as sunny as it was yesterday but all right this might take about a minute or two so I'll get right back to you when it's ready okay okay so I flipped my first plantain pancake and that's what I got going on there. Yep, the edges aren't too pretty. Wait, can you see it? <laughs> How do cooking shows do this? I don't know. I'm trying to do this on an iPad. All right. <laughs> this is going to be so exciting. So exciting. I'm, I'm, by the time this is over, I'm going to be so hungry. I'm pretty hungry already. Okay, here is my first plantain pancake slash crap getting into my plate oh my goodness turning off my burner as you can see I have so much I'm gonna post the directions I'm even gonna post a link to where I got the inch the, the recipe to make these and um, and you can definitely cut the ingredients in half because this is going to make a ton of, um, of plantain pancakes. so this is what I have here this is my plantain pancake. I'm gonna put some strawberries that I cut up in it. And I'm gonna roll it up. I'm use a spoon, it's really hot. Fold it like that. Ooh, oh, it looks, ooh, it looks prettier like that. Fold it here. Hold it here. Ta-da! Hold on, I'm gonna show you the really final beautiful results. I'm gonna get some Cool Whip, hold on. All right, everybody, this is the final result. This is my crepe, I put a little bit of whipped cream on it, a little bit of cinnamon. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm gonna taste it in front of you. I'll be, I'll be truthful. You know, the first one, that's when you decide, like, mm, maybe, maybe it should have a little more liquid. That's really good. <laughs> it's, re it's really good. I'm, uh, hold on. I'll talk to you in a second. Hold on. I was nervous. That came out really good. And I have so much. So I'll be, um, I'll be making these for days. Hopefully I can refrigerate this and make it again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this as, as entertaining as I feel like it might have been. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned something. And I hope that you tried the recipe. If you do, please let me know. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.